I just recorded this entire voiceover before I realized my microphone wasn't even plugged in. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an awesome day. Uh, we're doing a bullet journaling video today, obviously because July is over. It's time to get ready for August, so let's just jump right into it. So this entire month's setup was inspired by a picture that I found on Pinterest. Someone had sketched out a picture of a cassette tape and I was like, that is so cool. I want to do like an 80s retro bullet journal spread setup. So for the cover page, I just tried to draw a little cassette tape and then I just drew a little calendar beneath it. When I think of the 80s, I think of like hot pink. So that's really the color that I wanted to carry throughout all of these pages. On the right hand side of this, I wanted to do like a big calendar layout like I usually do. And so I was going to color it in with like my Tombow and then try to fade it out with watercolor. And that just was not working at all for me. So I ended up scrapping that and going to the back of my journal, tearing out one of the perforated pages and then taping that on top. The cool thing about doing that is that the pages are the same color and they're dotted and everything, so once you tape that on top, it looks like nothing ever happened. <laughs> so you can't even really tell. So I started over and instead I just took a little plastic bag and I colored on it with a marker and then it leaves behind a little bit of the pigment and then I picked that up with a water brush and just spread it around instead of trying to just color directly onto the paper and it worked so much better. And then, sticking with the 80s theme, I decided to include a quote from The Breakfast Club because I needed something to fill the little space at the top of that page, and I thought it was perfect. So if you've been watching my videos for a while, you might actually recognize this layout from my October spread that I did last year. It's exactly the same layout, just different colors. I was going back through some of my old spreads to get inspiration for this month and I remembered how much I loved this layout and I really wanted to try it again. So I just have a wish list, a goals list, and then a place for monthly highlights, which is basically where you can write anything notable that happens during the month that you want to remember. And I just like to leave a little space for that because it's kind of a fun thing to go back and look at later on in the year. I use this really cool silver metallic pen to do drop shadows on these boxes and you can see it really reflects the light when you move the page and I think it looks really, really cute. And then on the left side, I need to explain what I was trying to do because it looks really strange, but what I was trying to do was actually recreate one of those neon signs, you know, like the ones that people hang on their wall and they're all like aesthetic and such. I was trying to like do lettering that mimics that and it's actually really difficult. So I, I was like looking at pictures of pink neon signs trying to kind of get a similar look and I don't know if I actually ever really achieved what I was going for, but it still looks pretty cool. And then to fill in the rest of the space on that page, I just did some kind of retro looking doodles. I use these to-do list pages to put all of my sticky note lists that I make, grocery list, to-do list. So it doesn't really matter what I put on here because I'm just gonna kind of be covering it up anyways.
the much loved brain dump page. I love having this page because especially when I'm trying to plan my videos, I need a place that I can just jot down ideas because sometimes I'm just sitting at my desk and I have a really good idea and I just need, I need a place to be able to write it down. So that's what this page is perfect for. But this next page, oh my gosh guys, I'm really proud of this. It's probably my favorite page I've ever made in any of my bullet journal setups. And it's a one line a day page, which essentially is like a, a journaling page, but it's just like a little bit every day. So instead of like journaling an entire page, you just do one line every single day or every other day or once a week. When I was going back and looking through my old spreads, my one line a day pages were like my favorite things to look at because it really captures a moment in time. I mean, it's really cool to look back and reflect on that. I've kind of gotten away from doing these recently and I wanted to bring it back for this month because I feel like it's such a cool thing to be able to look at later in the year. So because I'm doing sort of like an 80s retro theme, I tried to make this page look like a stack of VHS tapes. I've seen people do this with like books for like a reading list or something, but I don't think I've ever seen anyone try to do it with like VHS tapes before. So this page took some nurturing, like this took me a good probably 20 minutes or half hour to make, but once it was done, I was really happy with it, and it's really, it really is like one of my favorite pages I've ever made, because I just think it's so adorable. So I am going to make all of these pages available as a digital file on my Etsy, like I did last month. If you want to print it out and use it, or if you want to import it into Procreate and use it digitally. I know a lot of you guys like doing digital bullet journaling too. And if you don't like making your own spreads, this is perfect because I've already created it for you. And so I think that is it for this video. Thanks for hanging out and bullet journaling with me today. And I will see you again very soon with another video. Bye guys. <laughs>